Aldous Huxley and five quarters meter in music predating take five background take five inches by Paul Desmond and famously recorded by the Dave Brubeck Quartet is one of the more famous jazz standards out there and one thing any analyst would point out immediately is the tunes five quarters shuffle which from what I remember was quite a departure from the normal four quarters swing at the time the piece was first recorded in the late 1950s and it's possibly the most famous piece of music ever to be written with five beats to a measure next to the mission impossible theme Recently, I have been reading a book, a fictional work unrelated to music by Aldous Huxley titled Brave New World, 1932, containing a passage that interested me. 400 couples were five-stepping round the polished floor. Lenina and Henry were soon the 401st. The saxophones wailed like melodious cats under the moon, moaned in the alto and tenor registers as though the little death were upon them. Rich with a wealth of harmonics, the tremulous chorus mounted towards a climax, louder and ever louder until at last, with a wave of his hand, the conductor let loose the final shattering note of ether music and blew the sixteen merely human blowers clean out of existence. Thunder in a flat major. And then, in all but silence, in all but darkness, there followed a gradual detergescence, a diminuendo sliding gradually, through quarter tones, down, down to a faintly whispered dominant chord that lingered on, while the five four rhythms still pulsed below, charging the darkened seconds with an intense expectancy. Emphasis mine, and I must mention I've heard some refer to Huxley's saxophones as saxophones, but I doubt it makes much difference overall. Phrases like alto and tenor registers, a diminuendo sliding gradually, through quarter tones, and a faintly whispered dominant chord prove undoubtedly that Huxley has had some non-trivial experience with music and music theory apparently, these phrases aren't proof enough for everyone, but I'll stick to my guns. This book was originally published in 1932, way before Desmond and Brubeck's smash hit. Clearly, the concept of moaning jazz saxophones paired with five-quarters time signatures had not been inspired by Take Five. But if five quarters time signatures were so revolutionary in the late 50s, how on earth would Huxley have put these ideas together? I haven't even found any reference to Huxley ever being involved with music at all, let alone able to understand such complicated ideas as irregular meter and quarter tones. So, my musical question. To what extent had five quarters time signatures been a part of the music predating the 60s, and is it possible that Huxley could have drawn influence from those pieces? The same question could be applied to the quarter tones, but I'll stick to one question at a time, this one's complicated enough as is. Brubeck's exploration of five-beat and other asymmetrical meters was revolutionary for jazz, but it had been going on for decades in classical music, largely inspired in the late 19th century by the identification of such meters in folk music. Prominent along these composers were several Russians. Wikipedia attributes Brubeck's interest to his studies with Darius Milhod quintuple meter. I note that Huxley does not mention jazz. The saxophone was far less narrow in its application in those days, being used not infrequently in classical orchestras. But the dance hall context probably does imply popular music. I suspect that Huxley chose the 5-4 meter precisely because it would be unusual in that context. It's a dystopian story, after all, so unusual details abound. But such meters would be familiar to someone who followed classical music. Furthermore, they will have been associated with Russian music, if not exclusively, just as Lenina's name evokes the leader of the Soviet Union. For more context, Take 5 appeared on the Dave Brubeck Quartet album Time Out. It was composed by Paul Desmond, the quartet's saxophonist. The album is devoted to unusual time signatures. Rather than attributing this interest to Brubeck's study with Milhod, this article says, with citations, that it arose during a tour of Eurasia. Another song on the album, Blue Rondo a la Turk, used a meter that Brubeck heard in Turkey, a nine-beat pattern with three groups of two followed by one group of three. 